So, I mean, I got to speak to you a little bit before we started the interview, getting to know what, what it is you do. Um, do you mind telling me again? Sure. Uh, my name is Jessica Colasso, and I'm based in Nairobi, Kenya. I work at uh, the iHub, which is Nairobi's innovation hub. Uh, it brings together all the people in Nairobi, specifically technologists, people who are doing web mobile development, young entrepreneurs, and innovators. Uh, my main career is actually research, technology research, and how this kind of research uh, affects people from community level. So doing evidence-based research that actually affects policy level and whereby people can actually have a better life. Oh. Yeah. And I mean, what are the things that you're working on right now? I mean, you, you talked a bit about um, technology research. Uh, do you mind elaborating a little bit? I mean, what kind of technology do you use? What kind of technology do you hope to use? And what kind of audience are you are you targeting? So uh, the technology research I actually focus on is specifically the mobile phone. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, for most of the people in East Africa and Africa, the mobile phone is a tool they use for calling, for texting, and for information dissemination. Uh, it's become to know it re it's it becomes a tool for educating uh, people f at different levels in the community. Mm -hmm. And this can be from primary uh, level to secondary level, mm -hmm. to tertiary education, mm -hmm. and to people all over the community. Mm -hmm. So the idea is how do we use uh, the mobile phone as a tool to educate these different communities? And, and, and this is where technology innovation comes in, is that you conduct research on what kind of uh, improvisations do we need? Do mm -hmm. we need to localize content and how do we get content out there? Through what channels do we need to get uh, content out there? Is it through applications for the mobile phone or is it through uh, mobile web or is it through the text-based ma uh, messaging system or interactive voice recognition? So when we talk about people in the different communities, uh, you have to realize that there are different demographics and people with different lifestyles. Not everyone in, in Africa can afford a smartphone, for example. So this is where technology innovation research comes in to actually find out uh, the processes and the channels of where, how you can get uh, to reach people via technology, thereby using technology as an enabler wow. for social change. Yeah. Wow, um, that sounds really amazing and very, very promising. Um, mm -hmm. Do you find in your research that different modes of technology, because I mean, you spoke about the cell phone and different things you can use in the cell phone, from text messaging to the web service. Do you think the different demographics in, of the population would be more, it would be easier for them to use a certain um, a certain like characteristic of the cell phone? For example, let me give you an example. I know my, my mom, um, if I asked her to read a text message, that would be easy for her, but if I asked her to open a a web a web page that'd be very very difficult for her. So I mean, do you? So I mean, I know if we wanted to reach the demographics that my mom would fit into, I know that maybe SMS would be easier. And I'm talking about Qatar. So I don't know if you find the same thing back home. Uh, I do agree with you. Uh, it ba it's based on the age group as well. So mm. the older generation uh, actually use. Um, well, this is this is the flip side of mm -hmm. things. Is that. Kenya is known for M-Pesa, for mobile banking, mm. for the last four years. Uh -huh. uh, prior to that, prior to 2007, uh, between 2000 and 2006, when uh, the mobile revolution started in Kenya, a lot of the older generation were using uh, the mobile phone for calling. Now, when M-Pesa came into the picture, uh, people had to start adapting to the use of text messaging, and then eventually, as when data the data uh, networks did come in, uh, decided adapting to using the, the, the native web browser. So a, lo a lot of the older generations still use the mobile phone for call uh, and texting as well and using uh, the USSD applications like M-Pesa for mobile money transactions and paying for their utility bills as well. Yeah. But as you go as you go through the, the age bracket, you see the, the younger generation, and this is the youth, youth in Kenya are defined between the age bracket of 18 to 35. Mm -hmm. A lot of them have smartphones and they're using uh, the mobile web browsers to access applications and downloading uh, applications from uh, the app stores, the Android market, right. the, um, 
the OB stove, Nokia, and so you see that that c categorization right there. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Um, and I mean, I guess my final question would be, what is your? I mean, I did understand a bit about your vision, but what is your dream? What is the end point you're trying to get to? Well, for me, uh, as an individual, um, I believe innovation actually uh, spurs from the community. Uh, there was a debate going on about whether innovation happens at an individual level or whether it happens uh, being in community. And I do believe innovation starts from one person and one per and, and then the person shares he, uh, his or her innovation with other people. Mm -hmm. And when we do share this uh, uh, vision uh, of innovation with other people, it creates what we call uh, synergistic communities mm -hmm. and then whereby we create knowledge uh, generation networks mm -hmm. and information networks and when we share the the vision of uh, social change uh, in the long run five to ten years down the run, down the line and 20 years down the line mm -hmm. we'll see a better a better world yeah. if people have the same vision inspiring change through technology innovation right. people innovation process innovation mm -hmm. Thank you, Jessica, very much. Uh, it was okay. great talking to you and hearing what your ideas. It definitely seems promising and very doable. So good luck to you. I hope to hear good news about you in the future. All right, thank you. Thank very you much. very much. Thank you. Yeah.